Cameron, Greg Beecham with the AP. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. What are your uh, initial thoughts about joining the Rams, and why did they stand out among the teams that were trying to get you? Um, I would just say everything, really. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we played them uh, this past season, and I liked everything about the team. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching Coach uh, McVay for a long time and everything he brings uh, to the game. And, you know, I'm just out here. I'm just really excited to get started. You've been a very versatile player in the NFL. You've done a lot of different things for that defense in Washington. Do you have an idea what, what the Rams are going to want you to do in general? Uh, You know, say, to play the safety position. You know, Coach McVay was telling me, uh, you know, he wants to tap into all my other skill sets, skill sets as well. You know, everything that I did in Washington plus some. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just ready to uh, see what he got set up for me. Cool. Thank you. Stu? Hey, Cam, Stu Jackson with the Rams.com. Great to meet you, and congrats on the new deal. Thank you. So uh, kind of along the lines of what Greg was just asking you, um, what specifically about this defense and, you know, the scheme and the way it's it's deployed, it was also appealing to you and the way you felt like, you know, your skill set would potentially be used? Um, I like the way the guys just fly around, you know what I'm saying? They fly around, play hard, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm just another piece of uh, – that they want to bring in to bring another Super Bowl back to the town. And as a as somebody who was uh, you know a former seventh round pick to you know have the production you did in your first four seasons and now uh, be in this position and, and get rewarded the way you did, what does uh, a moment like this or a day like this mean to you? Oh, it means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just to get all this done. You know what I'm saying? And get back to playing football. You know what I'm saying? That's really what mainly what I want to do. You know, I, I play football real good. That's what I like to do, and that's why I'm here. Thank you. Appreciate it. Sarah. Hey, Cameron. This is Sarah Barshop with ESPN. Uh, welcome to L.A. Thank you. When you approach free agency, what were you looking for? Um, You know, just somewhere that, I, uh, you know, expressed that they needed me. You know what I'm saying? And um, appreciated what I brought to the game and how I played the game. And, uh, just the really the best fit for me. And this, this is what it was. This is what it came down to. You referenced talking to Sean. What stood out in your conversation with him? Uh, you know, just his energy, you know what I'm saying? Um, and him reaching out, you know what I'm saying, to tell me, um, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you know, he wanted me, you know, and uh, that meant a lot, you know, just off the bat, that meant a lot. And like I said, just just knowing about him, you know, since being in the league, you know what I'm saying? This is a coach that I, I love to play for. Thank you. Adam. Hey, Cam, welcome to L.A. I'm Adam from the, the Orange County Register. Thank you. Um, so i uh, just curious, like, what your initial conversations and impressions of your new D.C. Chris Shula were. Uh, you know, we had some great conversations, you know what I'm saying? Uh, good energy, you know, uh, just ready to work with each other, you know, work and get the job done, get some wins. Yeah, this is the first time for him leading a defense. Like, kind of what was his message to you about, like, what the identity of this defense is going to be? Um, basically, you know, he, he told me, he brought me in because, you know, he likes what I play. He likes the violence, the physicality I bring to the game. And I feel like that's the only way to play football, you know what I'm saying? So bringing that to this uh, defense, you know, it can just only make it better. Uh, I would imagine just get the, the divisions played each other this year. You got some cross tape at the Rams. Mm -hmm. um, did you, did anything stand out to you about this young secondary that you're joining? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The first thing, like you said, they're real young, you know what I'm saying? So they got a lot of upside, you know, and uh, they fly around, you know what I'm saying? Fly around to the ball, making plays on the ball, and that's what you love to see. Thanks, Cam. Hi, Cam, how are you? Good, how you doing? We're doing great. Is there a defensive back that you admired growing up uh, in college or uh, your first few years in the league? Uh, yeah, you know, I like, I grew up watching guys, you know, you know, everybody watched Ed Reed, Sean Taylor, you know what I'm saying? And like growing up high school, college, you know, I watched Derwin James, Eddie Jackson, like guys that can fly around and be violent like I do, you know, I feel like that's the right way to play the position. What did uh, Sean Taylor specifically, um, you know, remind you of as a defensive back? Uh, he was just dominant, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he just dominated the back end, dominated the game, you know what I'm saying? When he was on the field, you knew he was on the field. He was always making plays. And uh, last question I wanted to ask you is, the Rams do a lot of community work. How does that fit into what you 
try to do in all season. Uh, if it's I perfectly. Too. You know what I'm saying? I, I love to do community work, you know what I'm saying, to give back. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm blessed to be in the position I am. So I feel like, you know, all I can do is really just give back. All right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And then we'll wrap up with Jordan and Garrett. Hi, Cam. I'm Jordan Rodriguez with The Athletic. Um, welcome to Los Angeles. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, just wondering, I mean, we've sort of seen your your journey from afar and, and how far you've come. Um, getting to this first, you know, big contract and the, through the process, what what was it like for you and your family? And I guess, what does it mean for, for your family? And can you tell us a little bit about them? Um, you know, it was a crazy week, you know, uh, my first time going through free agency. So, you know, I really didn't know what to expect, but... Um, you know, I'm here, so we got the job done, uh, you know, and I just appreciate my family for supporting me the whole way, you know what I'm saying, and being excited for me and this new journey. And then um, you mentioned a couple times you've long wanted to or you admired what Sean McVay has been able to do. Um, what specifically did you notice about him as a coach and, and what did you notice about the way that he um, deploys his offenses? Um, really like his just his football mind, you know what I'm saying? Just seeing stuff here and there, uh, him talk about the game and explain stuff, you know, it's just he like it's like he lives football, you know what I'm saying? That's what you want, you know what I'm saying? A guy that's all about football. And you know, the energy he brings uh on the sideline and just the way the players who play for him play, you know what I'm saying? You can tell like, you know, we're just ready to run through a brick wall for him, you know what I'm saying? So that's the type of guy I wanna play for. And then finally for me, and thank you for the time, um, you're obviously getting here at kind of a crazy time in Rams land because Aaron Donald announces his retirement and um, obviously the defense will be wanting, you know, younger leaders to step up. So are, are you, have you talked about with the coaching staff about who you are as a leader and, and kind of what you want to lend to this group with your voice? Oh uh, yeah, I feel like I'm a natural leader. You know what I'm saying? You know, I. I can't be Aaron Donald, you know, I can just be myself, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to bring to the team, just the type of guy I am, leading by example, you know, and being vocal, you know, and just trying to show everybody, you know, the right way to do things every day I come into the building. Thanks, Cam. And then last one with Gary. Hi, Cam. Gary Klein with the Los Angeles Times. Welcome to Los Angeles. Thank you. Um, I, I'm curious, do you know anyone, you know, on the Rams at the moment, any any friends on the roster or guys you might have come across? Uh, I mean, I got a, a fellow Oklahoma native, Jason Taylor, on the roster, uh, but that's really about it. You know what I'm saying? It's really, honestly, like a fresh start for real. Um, but I'm I'm ready to get to know the guys, ready to uh, get started and uh, get to work with them. And then uh, I think I can make out what your uh, necklace says, although the Welcome to Los Angeles uh -huh. is kind of breaking. Does that does that say Bam and if or what does it say and, and what does it mean? Oh yeah, I say Bam. Uh, it's just you know an old nickname um, from high school that stuck Cam Bam. You know, uh, and you know I just like it. You know, what I'm saying I like to go by. It's my Instagram name too, so it's just a little nickname. 